Imagine drinking your last cup of coffee on a Sunday evening, knowing you won't touch caffeine for an entire week. Most people think about the headaches or the afternoon crash they'll face. But deep inside your brain, something extraordinary is already beginning to unfold. And what follows is a scientific explanation, not a recommendation to stop caffeine suddenly. Your brain contains billions of tiny receivers called adenosine receptors. And for years, caffeine has been quietly blocking them. These receptors are designed to help you feel naturally tired when your body needs rest. When caffeine disappears from your system, these receptors suddenly wake up from their chemical slumber, flooding your brain with sensations it hasn't experienced in years as part of a normal adjustment process. Within the first 12 hours, your brain begins a process most people never witness. The blood vessels in your head, which caffeine has kept tightly constricted, start to expand. This isn't just a simple physical change. It's your brain reclaiming its natural rhythm, allowing fresh oxygen and nutrients to flow more freely through neural pathways that have been operating under artificial pressure for long periods of time. But here's the part most people never hear. Your brain has been producing extra adenosine receptors to compensate for caffeine's constant interference. Studies suggest that regular caffeine users can have significantly more of these receptors than non-users. When caffeine vanishes, these excess receptors become active all at once, creating an internal cascade that feels overwhelming, but signals your brain beginning a gradual recalibration rather than sudden healing. Your neurotransmitter systems, the chemical messengers that control your mood and alertness, begin their own quiet revolution. Dopamine, the molecule associated with motivation and pleasure, starts stabilizing at its natural baseline. For months or years, caffeine has artificially elevated these levels, and now your brain must remember how to produce satisfaction and focus without external stimulation. The first 24 hours feel like your brain is learning to breathe again. No epinephrine, your body's natural alertness chemical, drops to levels your system hasn't experienced in years. This explains why many people feel unusually tired, but inside, something remarkable is happening. Your brain is recalibrating its energy systems, preparing to function with sustainable, natural fuel instead of borrowed alertness. Around the 48-hour mark, your brain enters what researchers call the peak adjustment phase. Headaches may intensify as blood vessels continue expanding, but this discomfort masks an incredible internal process. Your brain's stress response system, which caffeine has kept in a state of low-level activation, finally begins to calm down. Cortisol, your primary stress hormone, starts finding its natural rhythm. Caffeine triggers cortisol release even when no real stress exists, keeping your brain in a perpetual state of mild alertness. Without this artificial stimulation, your cortisol levels begin following your body's natural circadian patterns, rising gently in the morning and declining peacefully in the evening. What happens next surprises even researchers. Your brain's ability to enter deep, restorative sleep phases begins to return. Caffeine can disrupt sleep architecture for up to six hours after consumption, preventing your brain from cycling through the deep sleep stages necessary for memory consolidation and cellular repair. As caffeine clears from your system, your brain rediscovers these forgotten rhythms. During deep sleep, your brain activates its glymphatic system, a network of channels that flush out metabolic waste and toxins accumulated during waking hours. This cleaning process becomes more efficient without caffeine's interference, allowing your brain to perform maintenance it may have been delaying or performing less efficiently for months or years. But the real change begins at 72 hours. Your brain's adenosine sensitivity starts normalizing, meaning you begin feeling naturally tired at appropriate times instead of relying on caffeine crashes to signal exhaustion. This isn't just about sleep. It's about your brain relearning its natural energy patterns, discovering sustainable alertness that doesn't require external chemicals. Your mood regulation systems undergo their own transformation during this period. The anxiety and irritability that many people experience aren't just withdrawal symptoms. They're signs that your brain is adjusting neurotransmitter production to match your actual needs rather than compensating for caffeine's effects. Serotonin, the neurotransmitter associated with contentment and well-being, begins stabilizing at levels that reflect your true emotional baseline. Yet, what your cells do next is even more unexpected. Without caffeine's constant stimulation of your fight-or-flight response, your brain's inflammation markers begin declining. 
Chronic caffeine consumption can maintain low levels of neuroinflammation, a state where your brain's immune cells remain slightly activated. As this inflammation recedes, cognitive clarity often improves, though it may take several days to notice and varies widely among individuals. Your brain's reward pathways also begin recalibrating. Caffeine enhances dopamine signaling in the nucleus accumbens, the brain region associated with pleasure and motivation. Without this artificial enhancement, your brain must rediscover how to find satisfaction in everyday activities. This process can feel challenging initially, but it leads to more authentic and sustainable sources of motivation. This is where the story inside your body quietly shifts. By day four or five, many people notice their energy levels becoming more stable throughout the day. Instead of the peaks and valleys created by caffeine consumption and withdrawal, your brain starts producing steady, sustained alertness based on natural circadian rhythms and blood sugar stability, your brain's ability to focus also transforms during this week. Caffeine provides temporary concentration by blocking adenosine and stimulating dopamine release, but it can also create a jittery, scattered type of attention. As your brain adjusts to functioning without this stimulation, many people discover a different quality of focus, one that feels calmer and more sustainable, though it may initially seem less intense than a caffeine-fueled concentration. Around day six, your brain's most remarkable transformation quietly emerges. The glymphatic system, that intricate network of cellular channels responsible for waste removal, reaches peak efficiency. This isn't just about clearing toxins. It's about your brain finally having the space to perform a deep maintenance it may have postponed for years. Without caffeine's interference, cerebrospinal fluid flows more freely through neural tissues, carrying away accumulated proteins and metabolic debris. Think of it as your brain's overnight cleaning crew finally working without interruption. This process happens mostly during sleep, but caffeine's disruption of sleep architecture has been limiting its effectiveness. The quality of your thoughts begins to shift during this phase. Many people describe a subtle but profound change in mental clarity. It's not the sharp, jittery focus that caffeine provides, but rather a gentle, sustained awareness that feels more connected to your natural rhythms. Your prefrontal cortex, the brain region responsible for executive function and decision-making, starts operating with less chemical noise. Here's something fascinating that researchers have discovered. Your brain's default mode network, the neural system active during rest and introspection, becomes more balanced without caffeine's constant stimulation. This network plays a crucial role in creativity, self-reflection, and emotional processing. As it stabilizes, many people notice improved emotional regulation and a deeper sense of inner calm. Yet what unfolds after the seventh day changes everything internally. Your brain enters what scientists call neuroadaptation, a state where neural pathways optimize for long-term sustainability rather than short-term stimulation. The adenosine receptor density, which increased during regular caffeine use, begins returning toward baseline levels. This process can take weeks or months to complete fully, but the foundation is established in that first week. Your circadian rhythm system undergoes its own quiet renaissance. The suprachiasmatic nucleus, your brain's master clock, starts receiving clearer signals about natural light and darkness cycles. Caffeine can disrupt these signals creating internal confusion about when to be alert and when to rest. As this confusion clears, your energy patterns align more closely with natural daylight cycles. Seven days without caffeine reveals the profound intelligence of your brain's natural rhythms. What began as discomfort transforms into a deeper understanding of how your mind creates sustainable energy, genuine focus, and authentic calm. Your brain remembers every choice, even the gentle ones. And as always, these changes vary from person to person and are purely descriptive of observed biological patterns. If learning how your body and brain quietly respond to everyday choices brings you clarity where your body tells its quiet stories,